Ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. I'm here to talk WWE SmackDown. I'm here to talk about the WWE World Title picture for SmackDown and how it's in a state of flux right now. First, feel free to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to be notified of every video that I make. So, man, WWE World Title picture. We got the Hemp Title, the Wood Title, the Heavy Wood Title of the World. We got the heavywood champion Daniel Bryan, and things broke down last night on SmackDown. We had a brawl after the main event. All six people of the Elimination Chamber got involved, and it is very interesting because I look at this world title picture, and I'm like, man, nothing makes sense for WrestleMania. Not, nothing is concrete and not, there's nothing exciting heading up for WrestleMania. You look at Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan has the championship now. Assuming he wins, there's really not there's not much out there that you look at and you're like, man, this is exciting. Yeah, we've already done AJ Styles to death. Samoa Joe. Oh, that's two heels. You're not going to do that. Randy Orton, another heel. You're not going to do that. Jeff Hardy, you're not going to do that. And Mustafa Ali is out there, that's possible, but that's not a marquee matchup. You look at all of the rest of these guys, it's, it's at the point to where you look at the world title picture and you see a little bit of this in, in, in the women's division as well, assuming Charlotte moves on to, to Becky and Ronda Rousey. Like, there's really nothing there for Oscar, and there's really nothing there for the world title as it pertains to excitement, as it pertains to intrigue. Like, you remember when it was, if I'm not, yes, last year was AJ Styles and Shinsuke Nakamura. We got that match, and before the match, it was like, this is so exciting. It could be the most, it could be the best match on WrestleMania. Of course, they blew it, but it was a very exciting build. I was interested into it. I'm not very interested into much here as it pertains to the winner of the Elimination Chamber and the possible match for WrestleMania. Even... If Samoa Joe were to win at Elimination Chamber, to which that is something I would love to happen. Samoa Joe, it's way past time for Samoa Joe to win the title. I would love for that to happen, but past that, what are we going to do next? I've seen Samoa Joe and AJ Styles. We've done it. Wendy, we've done that to death. We've done Samoa Joe and Daniel Bryan, even though that would be a fantastic match at WrestleMania. Samoa Joe and Randy Orton, I'm not interested in that. Once again, two heels going at it. Samoa Joe and Jeff Hardy, we've already done it. Samoa Joe, Mustafa Ali, we've already done that too. So I'm not very, very interested in much there as well. There's not a lot of excitement going on with the world title picture. And at the end of the day, I think what's going to happen for WrestleMania, I think we're going to end up with a, I don't want to say a lackluster match, but a match that no one will be excited about whatsoever. So, past this, I'm very interested to see if the WWE shakeup is going to happen and that's going to refresh this WWE Royal title picture for SmackDown. But as it stands right now, I'm not very, very interested in it anything as it pertains to the matchups that we have going for the world title picture so let me know your thoughts on the world the world title picture for smackdown down below whether that's youtube comments or on twitter at omg b or at two sweets pod that's the number two sweet p o d